Ever wake up groggy and wonder if the air in your bedroom quietly sabotaged your sleep last night? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. Today, we're looking at what the latest research says about bedroom ventilation, why your overnight carbon dioxide levels matter, and the simple steps you can take to protect deep, uninterrupted sleep. I'm Alara Skye. We're basing this episode on a comprehensive review drawn from 17 studies and 22 experimental data sets. The core finding is straightforward. When your bedroom ventilation is inadequate and CO2 rises, your sleep becomes lighter and more fragmented. The researchers highlight CO2 as a useful proxy for ventilation. It isn't treated as a pollutant in this context. It tells you how effectively fresh air replaces exhaled air. In practical terms, once CO2 drifts toward 1,000 parts per million, people experience more awakenings and shallower sleep. They also identified a clear target. If you keep bedroom CO2 at or below 800 parts per million, you tend to maintain steadier, more restorative sleep. The review estimates that reaching this usually requires about 8 liters of outdoor air per second per person, roughly one air change per hour, which is higher than many current residential standards. You might ask whether simply opening a window is the answer. It can help when outdoor air is clean and conditions are quiet, but the review notes trade-offs. Outdoor pollutants, noise, temperature swings, and security concerns can offset the benefits. That's where controlled mechanical ventilation becomes important. Mechanical options include systems that provide continuous measured airflow. Heat recovery ventilators and energy recovery ventilators bring in outdoor air while exchanging heat or coolness with outgoing air to maintain comfort. These can help you stay below that 800 parts per million threshold without relying on open windows. Air purifiers are a separate tool. They filter particulates and some chemicals from indoor air, but they don't introduce fresh air. The authors recommend pairing filtration with ventilation rather than using a purifier alone. If your goal is better, sleep via adequate air exchange. The review also cautions that CO2 alone doesn't define air quality. Fine particles and indoor chemicals can disturb sleep even when CO2 looks acceptable. That's why filtration plus ventilation and attention to your local outdoor air quality, work together to create a healthier sleep environment. If you want to dial this in at home, start by measuring. Choose a reliable CO2 meter that uses an NDIR sensor and place it near your bed. Track overnight values to see whether you're consistently under 800 ppm, hovering around 1,000 parts per million, or exceeding that threshold. Use your baseline to adjust your setup. Open or unblocked vents, slightly open interior doors, and clear return paths can improve air movement. If natural airflow is limited or outdoor air is problematic, consider installing an HRV or ERV to supply steady, filtered outdoor air while keeping temperature and humidity comfortable. After you make changes, remeasure for several nights. Aim for stable CO2 below 800 parts per million. If you're stuck near or above 1,000 parts per million, increase outdoor air supply or improve distribution. Some setups create drafts or uneven airflow. Small placement changes often solve that without adding noise. Noise matters, so look for quiet equipment and confirm that fan levels don't disturb you. The review also mentions future-forward ideas like personalized ventilation that directs clean air to the sleeping zone as well as cascade ventilation that routes the freshest air through bedrooms first. Beyond ventilation hardware, strengthen your indoor air strategy. Invest in a high-quality air purifier with efficient filtration to reduce particulates and chemical pollutants, especially when outdoor air is poor. Replace or clean filters on schedule so performance doesn't drop off. Be deliberate about outdoor exposure. Check air quality reports and, during high pollution periods, Limit outdoor time. If you do prefer window airing, the review suggests brief openings, about 15 minutes, when outdoor air is cleaner, ideally before bedtime, to flush stale indoor air safely. Reduce indoor sources that add to the load. Minimize synthetic air fresheners, scented candles, 
harsh cleaning chemicals, and incense. Choose unscented non-toxic alternatives so you're not introducing irritants that a purifier then has to constantly remove. Look at textiles and dust traps. Fewer dust-holding surfaces mean less particulate buildup. If you keep rugs, clean them regularly. Consider bedding made from materials that are easy to launder and keep a purifier positioned to treat the breathing zone near your bed. If your question is how much airflow is enough, the review's benchmark remains 8 liters per second per person, about one air change per hour, to keep CO2 below 800 parts per million overnight. That's a practical target you can verify with your meter rather than guessing. Finally, stay mindful of common pitfalls. Don't ignore outdoor air quality when opening windows. Avoid blocking vents and returns with furniture or curtains. Place devices so they don't create cold spots or drafts that wake you and confirm that any mechanical system runs quietly enough for sustained use. Here's today's challenge. Place an N-D-I-R-C-O to monitor by your bed for three nights, record your overnight peak, and take one concrete action to lower it. Either increase outdoor air using vents or a brief clean air windowing or add quiet mechanical ventilation. Pair that with a well-positioned purifier, then re-measure to confirm progress. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.